been to the Brooks Bench with Charles Brooke, aka Shiggy, and my co-host Brooke. What's up, y'all? And Megan. What's up? What's up? All righty. Um, we are dealing with allergies. Uh, <laughs> everyone here is destroyed. Brooke's eyeballs, my nose. Megan's just exhausted. So we're gonna power <laughs> through for our people, for our loyal subscribers. Okay. So if I sneeze, if Brooke's rubbing her eyes, if Megan oh, falls asleep, so bad, you guys. Yeah, it Megan might fall asleep too. So just bear with us, all right? Um, but if you're new, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. Uh, like, comment, share. Um, also follow us on social media, the Brooks Bench, everywhere, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. It's the same. Um, Can I and- just add in? Um, yeah. Listen, I know we were given my team shit for um, the what was it? The draft. Oh yeah, but oh, honestly. Yeah. I you guys are commenting a lot in our little group chat and I know I haven't yeah. been responsive. I've been moving, but I really like it and you guys should keep going because it really like makes me excited and happy that we're like conversing and talking about yeah. different things. Your group is very active. And, yeah. yeah, shout out you guys. Keep it up. I'm I'm impressed. I really am impressed. Um I also want to give a shout out. Uh we got a we got a little tip. We got a little super chat tip if you guys know what that is. And I missed it from our last video. His name is Christopher Kelly. He tipped us 20 bucks. So thank you. I just want to give him oh, a oh, little shout out. Oh, an actual money tip. Yeah. A oh, shout super out. Chat. I um, know. I haven't seen that in my uh, uh um, <laughs> request or anything. So that's uh, un- okay. Unfortunately, what's, what's yeah, there's no like Starbucks Zero. at my door from seeing anything. So that's crazy. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> YouTube does not wow. release anything under a hundred dollars. So we got a long ways oh, to go, people. So YouTube kept it. Yeah. <laughs> but I it. also okay. do not see that money as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's um, besides the point. Our at the bottom in case that happens. <laughs> yeah, personal charity <laughs> at this point. Um, but that's with cool, that though, said, thank you. yes, I just want to shout him out because I totally missed it the last video. Yeah, for uh, sure. That's- should we move to Twitch then? Yeah, we should. No, yeah. I don't know. I really don't know how to work Twitch. Um, I don't either. Yeah, but that might be cool. Uh, I did want to add in there because, you know, we're growing and we want to keep the community growing. If Brooke, this is news to Brooke, but me and Meg for fantasy, we're going to be going live on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays yeah. just to go over like the waiver wires, your guys's questions, because you guys DM me a lot of questions about who to pick up, yada, yada, yada. So on those designated days, bring your questions. We'll answer them. We'll tell you waiver wire pickups, yada, yada, yada. And when us three get together to do our weekly recording, it's going to be more about like WNBA and surrounding topics kind of like what we're doing what we've been doing um but the lives will be more for fantasy so that's the new change of moving forward if brooke wants to pop in brooke you know our schedule monday wednesdays and fridays okay live probably not um you guys got it yeah Uh, honestly i don't know how helpful my feedback is i kind (laughs) of just go against whatever shiggy says in fantasy because she jinx everything uh (laughs) but no you guys got it i'm too busy for that so shout out you yeah, guys just, so that's cool. Also, about half of what we've talked about already has been news um, to me. So this is a fun episode. Yeah, I know. It's just yeah. we're winging Surprise. at this point. Yeah. yeah. No, me and Megan thought it was just a brilliant idea because it's long. Our videos become too long when we talk about regular WNBA, WNBA topics and fantasy in one. So we're like, we'll just split it up. Lives will be for fantasy. Our three recording will be for WNBA topics because I'd rather have our opinions and stuff us three on WNBA topics because I just yeah. we have good banter and I want us to just keep doing our opinions <laughs> yeah. you know so that is the new format moving forward love it Great. sorry if you could hear my uh washer in the background oh was it washing locked? clothes on a Sunday uh-uh. yeah you know get prepped for the week no I can't hear it you're okay, good cool. okay but let's get into the news uh a lot it's a lot it's a lot but I just want to start off with some fun stuff because the we've been fun let's for this start moment. off with the best news of the week that's literally what i was getting into make it yeah, read you your said, notes you said fun but it, I is. Think it needed more emphasis okay thank you for the extra emphasis asia wilson finally gets her signature shoe from nike Woo! yay i got the marketing for this one though too where it was like um i think it was asia even posted it too um it, said, it was something like you thought we weren't going to oh leave. yeah something like that yeah 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 beautiful honestly i love the name a1s it, yeah, every yeah. time i think about it i think of the songs the song for air force ones i just that's beautiful beautiful name to a shoe a1s i'm gonna be purchasing a pair 2025 everyone save your money now um because i'm sure it's gonna get i'm sure it's selling out 
People oh, have been yeah. waiting for this for so long. It's going to be a massive drop. Um, but some fun facts about that. So she is the first black WNBA player since Cheryl Swoops, which was in 20, I was going to say 2022, 2002, <laughs> to have a signature shoe with Nike, which is insane. And also she's the first black WNBA player to get a signature shoe, period, since Candace Parker, 2010. We That's have a list of like um, P- what WNBA players who have shoes now. Um, mm-hmm. Off the top of my head, I know it's Brianna Stewart, Sabrina, Deladon. Sabrina's shoes are fire too. What? There's someone else. I really like. Why am I blinking? Yeah, I know they. Uh, I heard they're very comfortable too. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I'm sure you guys know. Please comment because I don't know all of them. I know. I know this was a random off the wall question. Yeah. That's not we looked and and we have the information. Someone has a random shoe out there. I just can't think of it right now. Like Skylar Diggins, does she have one with? Puma? Is she Puma? I'm making things up. Never mind. Someone Google, please. <laughs> okay, let's get into the other things now. So, everyone and their mom got waived. Today's the last day to waive people to get under the 12 uh, maximum roster. So, let's start. Las Vegas uh, waived Bria Hartley, Angel Jackson, Kamaria McDaniel, and they added Emma Cannon, which we thought was interesting, but hey, Emma Cannon was good for Indiana for a little bit there. Question. Is, yes. um... What's her face from last year who got arrested playing again this year? No. She's locked I'm up. I'm pretty sure she's is she still, is she still locked up? No, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I swore I saw a picture with her playing. Oh, she Like, I swear to you, I saw that somewhere. No. Yeah, no, she's not playing. It was like a um, Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, Seattle waved Clea Davis, Quinn Miller, Elena Coates. Minnesota waived Ruthie Hubbard, Kiki Jefferson, Kanisha Lockett, Kiana Trailer, and Cameron Taylor. Wow, that's a tongue twister right there. God. <laughs> uh, Washington Mystics wave. Honestly, saw Grayson, Jakia Brown Turner, Elisa Kunan. I don't know. And K- uh, Kaylin Trong. Connecticut that wave. One was I didn't think she Wasn't oh. she like the last pick? One of the last picks? Yeah. Oh. I think she was. Uh, Connecticut waved Helen Poyo, Tiana Jackson, Atlanta Dream waved Destiny Henderson, Khadija Cave, and Kalia Hillsman. Phoenix waved, oh my God, everyone, Charisma Osborne. <laughs> that was crazy. I'm kind of surprised that she didn't make it. Jazz Shelley, Amy Atwell, Bella hmm, Maricate, Maricate. Okay, I'm just going to stop. Air <laughs> Hearn, <laughs> Kristen Williams, and Maya Hollingshed. And then they signed Liz Dixon to a training camp contract. New York waved Okoko. I don't say that right. Adika. Adika. I don't know. Jessica Carter. Brianna Fraser. Rita Igbukwe. And Stephanie Mawuli. I'm I'm killing it, I think, guys. Chicago waved (laughs) Tay Rimmer. Dallas wave Katrina Party. This one shocked me. Veronica Burton. Dallas wave Veronica Burton. I'm I'm shocked. Honestly, but they got Lou Lopez back and what's her name? Stephanie Soares. So maybe that's not as shocking. And lastly, LA waved Mackenzie Forbes, Nia Cloudin, and Blake D. Dietrich. Dietrich. Um, and I was checking before we started. So the only rosters that are actually finalized under the 12 man maximum is Atlanta, Washington, Dallas, Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Seattle. Chicago has to cut one. Connecticut has to cut one. New York has to cut one. LA has to still cut two. And uh, I heard Minnesota is over by one, but uh, CK Cone and Dorka are still overseas. So that still gives them time mm. until they're back. Didn't know that. Um, but man, this is hard. This is rough. I mean, we all knew uh-huh. that this was going to happen, that so many people were going to get cut. Um, it's just unfortunate with the expansion coming. Things should change. Uh, didn't but it seem did- like uh, teams invited way more players to the training camp this year? Yeah, so they yeah. maximized it. So I figured out. Yeah. So last year was 15 that you could have in your training camp. This year was yeah. 18. Oh, okay. You okay. could have 18. I was going to say, because there's like so, uh, most of those names I've never even seen. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, But yeah, so that's why they were bigger this year. Anyone that surprised you guys that got waived? Mm-hmm. Not really. I think the most one was Veronica Burton to me. Maybe Osborne out of Phoenix. Oh, yeah. I really did think she was going to make it. I think she'll be back. She'll be back on the team. They just have so many guards there now. 
Like yep. with all the trades, I mean, that's what made it not surprising mm-hmm. for a lot yeah. of teams. But that's true. But okay, we'll see. Um, I don't know what time the deadline is. I think we passed the deadline, so I don't know what the what the finalized rosters are really going to look like. Um, but let's get into the rest of the news. So Indiana Fever has exercised the fourth year option on Lexi Hull and Christy Wallace. Uh, this was crazy. Mystics traded Queen Egbo to Connecticut. Uh, for the rights to Bernadette Harta Hatar, man, these uh-huh. names and the Suns' 2025 second round pick. I like mm-hmm. the move. Uh, it's probably Connecticut. because they were like figuring out who to cut and they didn't want to <clears throat> cut anybody. Yeah. And they were like, let's just get a trade going. Yeah. I think uh, Connecticut got a- some good depth now with Queen and Washington. Uh-huh. They were probably weren't going to use her. They were getting a little. They kept Angsler. Did you guys see that? Emily uh-huh. Angsler? She made the roster, so that's pretty dope. <laughs> um, but it's it's good for Eggwell, and especially because you know Alyssa Thomas is getting older, so yeah. perfect. Uh, Mystics have acquired Jade Melbourne from Seattle for Washington's twenty twenty five third round pick. That was interesting. I didn't really understand this one, um, but hey, go ahead, Washington. Uh, Camila Cardoso is expected to miss four to six weeks due to a shoulder injury. Bummer. Expect because- to probably see a. a- you know, one of those 10 day contracts for Chicago. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. A I forgot about the 10 day contracts. Good pickup, Megan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. We should talk about that eventually, too. Is those 10 day contracts. They'll be flying this year. I, I know. Um, but anytime you see that long of a missed period, they utilize it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Which is good. Year. It's good. But mm-hmm. so 10 day contracts, all those people that got cut a lot of them are probably going to get those 10-day contracts because mm-hmm. then whoever's on the national team is going to have to report. You know, yeah. I know they go on the break for the <clears throat> like of the month, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of games that they end up missing. Yeah. 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 Um, it's a bummer because I really thought she was going to also be in the running for Rookie of the Year, um, but obviously the setback. Hopefully she heals and is back sooner, but we'll see. Uh-huh. Uh, also, for the first time ever, the WNBA opening night will air on Disney+. Plus. Woo. We love to see it. That's uh, cool. And you know what? I'm going to put my two cents in here because no, I know I'm like, private on social medias. And so yeah. this is really the only platform to like share with the entire world. But yeah. somebody, okay, somebody. I want somebody to give me some royalties here on this Patent, idea. Patent this idea right Patent now. Something. Just honestly, <laughs> 200,000. Right. I'll leave you alone. 200,000? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make kidding. more. We can yeah, negotiate. Go <laughs> we can negotiate. Um, but somebody should make like a platform where it's just all women's sports and you can yeah. add in WNBA, NWSL, you can add in hockey, the new volleyball, um, uh, professional league coming up and running, mm-hmm. uh, AU sports that, which also mm-hmm. that includes basketball, mm-hmm. softball and what lacrosse, mm-hmm. like, I don't know, like you can even do overseas soccer. You can do like a whole bunch of stuff mm-hmm. because I'm tired. I am exhausted of paying $30 here and yeah. $10 there and $4 yep. there for yep. all yep. these different platforms to watch like one game because yeah. you know what? I'm a big NBOSL fan. That's on like Paramount or mm-hmm. Ion and like mm-hmm. WNBA. If it, you know, mm-hmm. there's just like so many different things and then college, mm-hmm. it's irritating. Yeah. So if somebody create the platform, call me and we can discuss. Yeah, uh-huh. no, I like the idea. Um, everyone is trying to get in the game, so every subscription platform is like, okay, we'll host this game or we'll do this game or, yeah, no, I get it. I totally get it. They're doing that with every sport now. It's ridiculous. Yeah, honestly. like you can't even watch what is it Thursday night football because yeah. it's on Prime and Prime. if you don't have Prime, yep, then that sucks. Which yep. I don't think is I I have a big issue with it. It's starting to become too much, and yeah. it's I don't know. I don't know how people are surviving <laughs> yeah no i totally get it um okay so the WNBA is going to use charter flights for the regular season games it will be phased in the beginning of the 2024 regular season yes that's, that's what we big. wanted crazy the crazier part is that no one knew this was going to happen yeah <laughs> is yeah. they just announced it and no gm knew nothing and uh-huh. i think the biggest backlash was uh players were saying well you had the money the whole time like Mm-hmm. Like you don't pull this kind of money out of thin air, you know? No, so, no, it's not like last year really set the records through the roof. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So I think that's where irritation's coming from. Everyone knew they had the money, but they weren't spending it on their players. But now that, you know, Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese are in the league and it's becoming more of a security hazard, even though the Brittany Griner thing was also a security hazard. Uh -huh. Let's not forget about that. Um, now they're, they're, you know, picking and choosing at this point of what they uh -huh. want to spend their money on. Um, but it's good. Charter flights. That's what they wanted. That's what they needed. Um, but you know, there's always the, there's always the backlash. Um, Candace Parker, you know what I was thinking about the other day, guys? We didn't even go over Candace Parker's retirement. You know why? Because I think I was so depressed. I didn't even want to talk about it. I just Listen, put it in the back of my head. very sad because she had texted us, what, maybe the day before and was like, yeah, because I was asking her, we were talking about the Vegas jerseys yeah. and what jerseys we were going to get this year because I have Asia's and it's signed, yeah. so I can't wear it. And then I had Candace Parker last year because I went to Chicago. Mm -hmm. And so this year I was debating on which jersey to get. And she mm -hmm. was like, I think I'm going to get Candace Parker's jersey. She's got to be retiring soon. <laughs> and then, boom. <laughs> I think it was right after it came in the mail. Yeah. Too. Literally. Oh, you was... bought it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it came in the mail. Three days later, she retired. Depression. Yeah. Oh, that, that's even better. That I'm depressed. The story's so much better. <laughs> I was literally crying oh. real tears. I think I texted oh, no, both funny. of you and I was like, yeah. Candace Parker just retired and I literally just bought her jersey. You <laughs> broke the you broke the news to me. Yeah, that's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Candace, if you're out there watching, notice <laughs> um you have, have to catch your out a game jersey. being like the broadcaster. <laughs> I know, I'm so sad right now. I'm I'm sad, but I'm also thinking about it. It's the last Candace Parker jersey ever. I'm keeping it and I'll relish in the moment. It's still Did you get the black on one? It. Yeah, the black one. The one like behind you? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. The new black one. And white. Uh, I black got the black and gray one. Oh, you got the new So it's her very last jersey. So whatever, I'll keep it. I'm still sad about it. But in good news, she's been named the president of women's basketball at Adidas. Get the bag, Candace. Get the bag. All right. Indiana preseason home opener attendance was 13,028 people. Better than all but 12 fever games, regular or postseason on record. And oh. best fever total since Tamika Catching's last regular season home game. 17,704. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. I'm sure it'll break that record if they can. Uh -huh. if they, but we'll see. It's, Toronto it's... has been awarded a WNBA expansion team. I think Toronto's a good pick. Yeah, Toronto is a good yeah. pick. I'm I drawn think... to Toronto for yeah. some weird reason. Um, I was honestly really rooting for Philly. Philly would be a Ooh, that would have been a good one. Yeah. Uh, um, and then I think one of the Carolina, was it North Carolina? Yes. yes was it that would be that would be a dope one too i think yeah. i think the east coast is gonna get get one yeah, because one. i mean yeah toronto's like canada like east canada but yeah <laughs> it's still canada and yeah. then we have the bay team so it makes yeah. sense to you know i think like there the was or something I think yeah. there was rumors of Charlotte. Did you guys just say that? Charlotte? I just think, yeah, North Carolina. I think Charlotte yeah. would be dope. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, man. it almost, I think the um, the NBA team there has, like, really cool colors. And, like, yeah. they do a lot of cool things with the jerseys. Like, I don't know. I think yeah. North Carolina is a good spot. Mm -hmm. And then um, One Tree Hill is what they could. Oh, um, well, <laughs> one Tree Hill. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, but they're expected to launch in 2026. And it will be played in Coca-Cola Coliseum. Awesome. Yeah. What are we in? 2024? 24. Yeah, oh. they're just rolling them out. Um, NCAA approved a blanket waiver to allow schools an unlimited number of official visits in men's and women's basketball effective immediately. I don't know why there's a cap. I'd go on all the visits. I'd yeah. be like, let's go visit. Um, and then Stanford Maple Pavilion will be named after Tara Vander. Pretty I'm, cool. I expected that. I've I've yeah. expected that to happen. Yeah, that was a given for sure. Yeah. Uh, lastly, Liatu King transfers to Notre Dame. Notre Dame. That's big. Notre Dame is going to be good. They had another signing, yeah. and I can't think of the other her name, but mm -hmm. she's from Villanova. So, yeah, Notre Dame is going to also be good. I'm glad all these teams are just creating these super teams so they can all battle each other. It's mm -hmm. it's becoming fun, honestly. Okay. One of the reasons you're here today. Preseason power rankings came out by ESPN. And I have some thoughts. I will pop them on the screen for you guys to see. But you guys can see them. And who do you think on this list is disrespected? Because I have some thoughts and opinions. And I don't really like this ranking at all. Just going to put it out there. So what catches your guys? Minnesota. Disrespected. 
disrespected. That's mm-hmm. one of them. Yeah. Great yeah. disrespect. They're at nine. That, that's one that popped out to me yeah. as well. I, think, I agree. Yeah. I think Seattle should actually be third. Yeah. Um, I would agree. And, it and honestly, really be nice. I'm not even going to lie. You guys know I love AT, <laughs> but yeah. I would have bumped Connecticut to fifth and bumped up Seattle and Dallas. Mm, okay. I think Dallas is low because Satu's out for half the season. Yeah, but yeah, if Dallas she comes is back being sought too. I mean, it's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of the teams. Okay, this one really stuck out to me. Chicago. Chicago should not be twelve. I don't Who's think Chicago because they're, they're young. Indiana? I think they just are young no. and they think that they're rebuilding. Like everyone thinks they're rebuilding, and you know, they even whooped, though they started off good, they whooped <laughs> New, New York. They whooped New York. Yeah, it's preseason, but yeah. But they played their starters. <laughs> so I don't care if it's breezy or not. You don't get yeah. worked that bad. Chicago, I don't think you should be 12. Well, who would be last? Washington? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Honestly, yeah. I'm I'm rooting for fever. And I've been for two, two years yeah, now. Yeah. But they should not be eight. I'm sorry. They should be like 10. And everybody else gets moved up one. It's the Caitlin Clark effect. Mm. It really yeah. is. It and bumps like, you up points. I'm excited for to see how they do, but I don't know. I'm kind of shaky on the Phoenix, too. I know they got Copper and Natasha Cloud. But I don't know. I don't know. I need to see it. A lot they of the cool teams marketing really changed up this yeah. year, though. So it's yeah. like, you right. really got to see how it plays I out. Need to but see, yeah. But I think, should, gonna, I think I it's like going to be a competitive year. That's it is. I think it is, too. I think Can you really see any of these teams going oh and like because you know Indiana for a minute went oh and whatever yeah no. I can't really see any of these teams going oh and forever for a minute like no I'm not it's gonna, gonna, gonna lie though I'm worried about Washington yeah I'm worried about Washington I don't know why there's a feeling in me that's worried mm-hmm. that they yeah, are I would agree good. that they, I mean they, they still act- got Ariel Atkins Sykes like Shakir as long as she's healthy yeah I but you lost a lot you lost Deladon and um. Yeah. Natasha Cloud. I don't know. It would just I'm worried. Going to be better for them, to be honest. I feel like both of them were kind of weighing that team down, but I don't know. Like Washington is also the team that you don't. We haven't seen a lot. We haven't heard a lot. There's yeah. not like it's. I think out of this entire list, Washington and Connecticut are the two teams I've seen almost, and Atlanta, nothing about right now. Like on uh-huh. social media and stuff. Yeah, like everywhere. Yeah. I can't. There's. And I like follow most of all this and all, the accounts, and all, yeah. of all of it. So, yeah, I think Chicago's disrespected. Washington, I'm concerned about. LA, I'm confused about. I don't know what's going to happen. They could be really good. They could be meh. Um, in Phoenix, I don't know. I don't know how I feel uh-huh. about them. Other than that, yeah, I think Seattle should be above Connecticut. Phoenix but, is a wild card this year. For yeah, me. I'm confused about Phoenix, really. Um, but okay. Let us know what you guys think about the power rankings. Obviously, this is going to dramatically change probably after two weeks. It's going to be crazy. Um, Last thing I really want to talk about is the top 25 player ranking. The preseason player rankings came out, and we needed to talk about this because I think it's just insane. Okay, I I already saw this. Did you see it? I saw the first round of it, and it pissed me off. Oh, mm-hmm. that we're going to get into that next. That little tournament thing, the little bracket thing. No, we're going to get into that. But what I wanted to talk about was just the oh. one, th- 1 through 25. Um, because I think I don't like the rankings totally. So you got Asia at 1, Brianna Stewart at 2, Alyssa Thomas at 3. That's fine. But then you get to 4 and it's John Quell. Okay. No. <laughs> Nafisa Collier should be here. Y'all need to stop disrespecting the Fisa Collier. Like, I feel like some people just don't watch basketball. And we'll touch on that point because I know what Brick's talking about, the bracket that's been going around. And y'all crazy out there, okay? But for me, it's Nafisa over John Quell. I don't know. Am I crazy? No. That's insane. What do you think, Meg? Yeah, no. Come on. Yeah. So, okay, let's let's keep going down. Then you got the trio of Aces guards. Okay. <laughs> Chelsea, Jackie, Kelsey. And then it gets to Jewel at nine. And let me tell you, I'm a Vegas fan through and through. But and I Jewel really should be think higher. Jewel should be higher. Oh, yeah. I think Jewel should be ahead of the three Aces guards. You can't disrespect Jewel after leading the league last year. Mm-hmm. It's a poor game. 
So I'm just going to leave that out there. I think it should go Jewel, then the three aces guards. <laughs> Would we all agree? I agree. Yeah. And I'm wondering if they're thinking, okay, coming into the season, but I still don't think you can disrespect Jewel Lloyd. Even if she has a stacked team, Las Vegas is a stacked team. They still happen to share the ball. So you say the same thing for Jewel, if that's their argument, in my opinion. Then we get 10-11. You got NECA, Brittany, Griner, 12, Sabrina, and then Skylar Diggins. For me, Sabrina's a little high. Sabrina's a little high, okay? Because you got Skylar Diggins, Leah Boston, Enrique, Ryan Howard. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? This next five. Would you, would that be your rank? Sabrina, Skylar, Aaliyah, Enrique, Ryan Howard. I think I would have Enrique I, higher. No. Uh, yeah. I'm torn. It's just hard. I mean, because Skylar was out last year, so it's just hard. Yeah, and that's true. it off the year where she was killing it at Phoenix, though. I mean, so. She did really good. So I'm not mad at it, but I can see Enrique being above Aaliyah Boston. I think Enrique should be above everyone. I don't know. I'm just really high on Enrique. I just think she gets it done. I, think I don't know. With her, it's a consistent thing, but I see her being above like Brittany Garner because Brittany Garner's not consistent. Sabrina either, though. She's hit or miss. Well, that's why I'm asking if you would rank them yeah. differently. But then I would say Enrique and Skyler would have to move up for me. Yeah. And I they would, would be they would be under I would say they would be under NECA because we can't say NECA didn't have a good year with Sparks last year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I agree with you. But uh, then scrolling, I think it's pretty on point except for Courtney Vandersloot. Oh shoot. Don't worry, guys. I'll share our screen. Um okay, so you passed Dewana. You already passed Alicia Gray, Clea Copper, Brianna Jones. Okay, you had a problem with Vanderson. Yeah. I would agree. I don't know why she's on this list. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Did I say that? No, I really don't want to know why she's on this list. Um, okay. I think, you can make a, I think you can make a case for everyone else that's on this list. But I know if I really thought about it, there's someone missing that would easily be over Vanderson, in my opinion. Okay, well, hear me out. Why is Ezzy all the way at 22? Okay. There's just so many. Copper, I think Copper's low. Alicia Gray, everyone's... Well, when just you, don't when like when Alicia Gray. At, when, when you look at the rest of the list, I wouldn't say they're really low because... Okay, I get you really say any of them I get can move up, you know? Okay, but I don't personally think Vandersloot should be on this list. I think uh, there's... I'll give you my player. I just want to go through the rest. Ezzy, Brittany Sykes, Kelsey Mitchell, Cheyenne Parker. Uh-huh. Uh, who okay you guys i know you know who i'm thinking of the person missing from this list is natasha howard why isn't natasha uh-huh. howard on this list you don't do you guys think she deserves to be top 25 she had a great season last year or satu well satu's hurt they're not going to put her on a preseason ranking yeah but i mean i guess because she's out for such an extended, yeah, she's gonna be, extended uh, amount of time so you would yeah, think right. minus saw two, yeah. Natasha Howard's gonna have a more prominent role on the team after doing well mm-hmm. last season. So I think she's the one missing from this list. Is there anyone else that you guys think should have been on this list? I'm not gonna lie. I really think Jordan Canada had a year. And I you mean, I think so she hurt her her hand. Huh? You're just so pro Jordan Canada. Did you not think that she had one of her best years? Last she year? did, but to be a top twenty-five player, I don't know. That's debatable. If you if you if you compare Jordan Canada's stats to Courtney Vanderson's stats from last year, I think Jordan won more games for her team than. Pull the stats, won. Megan. Pull up the stats. I will. Let me see. They'll it. be posted. They'll be posted. No, pull it up right now. Cause I don't think that's right. But anywho, and you know Jordan Canada's hurt going into this season. So Yeah, but they said she's probably gonna start to, um yeah. on Tuesday. So mm-hmm. okay. Well, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking is who's been snubbed is Natasha Howard. I don't know why she's not on this list, honestly. Um, other than that, I don't know. What do you guys think? 
leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Who's been snubbed from this list? But did we just lose Megan? Literally don't know. All I can see is your screen, but I hate doing these lists because it's like there's so many people you could leave out or put on the list. And I just I'd rather they went like um by position or something. Because it's like, you know, you get to your 20 and it's like, oh, okay, I think they should be higher. But like Megan yeah. said, in reality, maybe yeah. not because there's so many good people that are in other spots and positions. So I don't know. I just like these lists and stuff. I just, I don't know. They're so hard, especially when people are like, who's better? And yeah. like, who's the greatest of all time? Like, yeah. you know, like, uh, it's hard. It's a hard. No, I get it. I get about. it. Uh, but comment down below who you guys think is either missing, rank too high, rank too low, because I think this list is up for debate, honestly. Um, the com- thing that Brooke was talking about earlier. Had yeah, to I jumped do- the gun, my bad. Yeah, no, because this was crazy. Me and Megan were looking at it earlier today. Basically, what had happened was uh, ESPN or WMA, whatever, they put out a bracket of best player in the WNBA. And let me tell you. You guys are out of pocket for what you guys selected. Like, pocket. you guys don't watch basketball at this point. It's whoever the media is showing and whoever the media is pushing. Because I, oh my God. The amount, I'm going to put up the bracket on the screen so you guys can see. But the amount of, what was it? It was like uh, Sabrina over, who was it? Sabrina over Nafisa Collier is criminal. And you should never watch basketball again because... That is insane to think Sabrina is better than a few scholar. But anywho, let's go through the bracket because I want to see if you guys are also out of pocket. So we have Asia Wilson versus Ryan Howard. Asia, right? Oh, you want us to guess? Yeah. 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 Yes, we're going through it. Kelsey Plum or Jewel Lloyd? Jewel Lloyd. Yeah, I figured. Uh, that, John- one's, that one's a toss up, though. Yeah, but I think it's our like, biases towards Vegas. Jewel, I think, just has, like, a bigger resume right now in the WNBA because she's older and has been in there longer. But, I mean, Mm -hmm. that one's hard. (laughs) That one's really hard. Yeah, I think I'd lean Jewel, though, in that that battle. Um, John Quell or Skylar Diggins? I thought this was kind of hard. I'm not going to lie to you. My biases... I think most most players would go John Quell. My biases would go Skylar. Well, it just depends on who's voting, honestly, because... The newer generation, I mean, they're probably going to disrespect Skyler. They're both older players. Though. They're not both young. I know, but John Cole just won MVP, like, what, three years ago? Yeah, that's true. It wasn't that long ago. Yeah, true. Um, Nafisa or Sabrina, were you guys not shocked that they put Sabrina over Nafisa? I was No, because this bracket baffled. isn't really, at, like, the people that are answering this bracket aren't truly answering it. Who's the best basketball player? It's who do they like that they want to move mm. forward in this bracket? Yeah. But you guys would say Nafisa yeah. over Sabrina, right? Yeah. yeah. Based off the year last year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one is hard. This is hard for Megan, too. Alyssa Thomas or Leah Boston? It's not hard for me. Alyssa Thomas. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is where it pissed me off because online I know. they chose Aaliyah Boston. I know. Thomas. And you know what? I'm a huge Leah Boston fan, but I would Same. also say Alyssa Thomas. Yeah, um, not let's yet. not disrespect AT. That's crazy, guys. Aaliyah is good too, but Alyssa Thomas yeah. has earned her stripes. Uh, Chelsea Gray or Brittany Griner? I think we're all going to say Chelsea Gray. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I was like trying to figure out where we were in this line. No, it's okay. And then Brianna Stewart or Rike? We're all going to say Brianna Stewart. Yeah. Tough matchup and Jackie Young or NECA, though. Uh-huh. Also hard. I said NECA. I would probably say NECA as well because, once again, she has like more experience and has yeah. a bigger resume than Jackie. I was honestly just thinking, like, this one's hard again because we're doing like Brianna Stewart versus Arike. Yeah. Can we like match them up by position? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, like, I it's hard. I don't yeah. know. Like, we, ugh, I don't know. Yeah. I, these are fun, but this one's very like I I feel like they were just trying to get like the clickbait viewership yeah. like interactions mm-hmm. on the the post because there's no way somebody in ESPN was like yeah this is a <laughs> bracket <laughs> no but the votes were still crazy like it's just sure. too insane for me mm-hmm. to fathom sure. that people voted this way um 
I think all in all, if we went through this bracket, I feel like our final four, if we're looking at it as a whole, would be Asia. Okay, yeah. I, I don't think we'd all agree. Because I would say Asia, Nafisa, Alyssa Thomas, and Brianna Stewart. That would be my final four. Uh, probably the same. I don't know if Megan would say the same, though. Well, probably not. She likes to disagree. There's always one of us that disagrees, you know? I know. Because then mine would be, obviously, Asia versus Brianna Stewart. And then the winner would be Asia. That's literally how it should be. No, <laughs> That's the correct answer. Duh, guys. <laughs> but I, I feel like all of us would say Asia's the best player in the WNBA right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. End of story, period. Period. Good night. We're done talking about it. Bye. So, sorry. <laughs> no, put in the comments what you guys think, because obviously, yes, the two crazy votes were Aaliyah over Alyssa Thomas and Nafisa. I mean, and Sabrina over Nafisa. Those were the craziest ones I saw in that vote that they put out. Um, other than that, thank you guys for joining. Okay? As always. We'll be here every Monday for you guys. And every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, live at night. At nights, okay? Without me, so enjoy Without it. Brooke. Without Maybe Brooke. You guys miss me once. What? Yeah, three days <laughs> a week. But Brooke will be here <laughs> on our Mondays, okay? But Hopefully. thank you guys. Oh, oh, shit. Brooke will maybe be here. We don't know. It's a surprise, so tune in because she may or may not be here. I don't even know. It, yeah, it, we're just winging it at this point. But Literally. let us know what you guys think of all the topics we talked about today. Comment, share, like, subscribe. We appreciate you guys your support. We really do. And with that being said, we'll be back next week with more content. Peace. Bye. Peace.